Hi there. In this video, we will be looking at this Elec Gear M.2 SSD mini enclosure. You might be wondering what's so interesting about an SSD enclosure. There are a ton of them on the market. Well, this one is smaller. This is for 42 millimeter and 30 millimeter uh, M.2 NVMe or SATA. This is really important. So it works either with NVMe or SATA protocol drives. And I have this thingy from uh, when I upgraded the storage in my laptop. That video will be linked in the description if you, if you want to look at it. And as you can see, much shorter than uh, the standard uh, four terabyte drive that came in this packaging. I decided this is a 256 gig uh, unit. Maybe you can see the specs now. This is worth uh, keeping around as a thumb drive. And it was really, really hard to uh, basically find a smaller than 80 millimeter uh, enclosure. So I will link it also in the description. And thanks for uh, Elec Gear for building this thing, basically. Let's see what we get. I don't know why others insist only on building uh, full length enclosures. I don't care about those. They are a bit too big to be wearing uh, in your pocket all the time. So for me, something like this is the way to go. Look at this little guy. And it's quite a heavy one. So I think the enclosure is actually full metal. Yep, it's full metal. Nice. And this is still bigger. Uh, something will squeak. Then uh, a random size. Let me search for some random size uh, thumb drive. Obviously, these are on the bigger uh, size because there are uh, even smaller thumb drives. Uh, if I could actually find one. No, because you never find one when you need it. Let me show you. So obviously, thumb drives can be way, way smaller. This is an 8 gig one. But uh, yeah, if we are comparing it to a normal size thumb drive, it's quite small, depending on the shape of that said thumb drive. Even smaller, this one seems. So happy with uh, its size. I wasn't uh, hoping it would be smaller because uh, reality kind of hits you. It has an activity activity led screw right here presumably we need to open that up when we want to open the unit oh machined aluminium this is actually nice magnets so this stays in place with magnets does it work both sides yep it doesn't care uh, let's open it up. I thought it will have some kind of hole to have something to attach it to, but it doesn't seem to have one. Yeah, not an issue. Let me move the camera. Let's take a really quick look at the manual because uh, why not? Feel free to pause at any time. So it's with type A, not uh, type C, because I also work on all the computers that don't have type C yet. So uh, for me, it's better a type A. And anyway, for such a big device, a type C looks <laughs> ridiculous, honestly. If you want to see any info, this is the weight. This is the uh, dimension of it. This is how you install the drive. And uh, I think we jump, jumped to different languages. Yeah, we jumped to different languages. Anyway. Let's properly install the drive. Use the included screwdriver. So this slowly lifts, lifts up and pulls back. So it has this 
to latch under the machine front. This thing is all machined. It's really nice. And as you can see, the board is um, attached to the case with uh, with screws. And is it moving? It is wiggling. Should we take a look? This is not uh, required to ins for installing the drive, but uh, it is required purely for our curiosity, see, uh, honestly. Let's see what we have in here. Hey, you're not coming out? Oh. Yep. It probably has... Uh, hmm. This one, I think, also should be removed. But it also has, yep, that little guy right there. And this is packed full of electronics. Maybe we can get a glimpse on what text camera, maybe. Nope. Okay, now you can read the number if you want. But, uh, yeah. Okay, this is packed full of electronics. Nice. Now let's put this uh, little guy back. It will cool its own uh, controller, which is cool. Uh, put back the screws uh, on the end of it. If I could actually, ah, oh, it's magnetized, luckily, because otherwise this would be really annoying. Tighten those screws just enough to hold everything in place. And now let's break out our drive. And it's free. Try not to touch its contacts. If you can give them a quick uh, wipe, I will do it on my t-shirt. Yes, electrostatic. Uh, not necessarily a good idea, but again, I never managed to kill electronics with electrostatic until now. So this drive is going in. As you can see, it has this key right here, but I don't remember which one of them it is, so I will put it on the video now. Push it in there. Okay went all the way in and now we need to install this little guy first hey 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 where are you going basically we put the base on the on the pcb and now the screw will come through everything to lock also the base but uh, also the drive itself in place so this is obviously the biggest uh, drive that it can support 42 millimeter in length 22 millimeter in width but width it's kind of standard only length differs and now we have uh, some cooling pads in here i'm looking at my drive and it basically only has this chip on it so uh, yep one cooling pad it is others stay in there yeah not perfect first application also although sorry it would have been good enough now slide this slowly in there until it kind of locks yeah, I can feel the tension, so the pad, and you can uh, actually feel it sticking. So the pad is touching, it's even bowing just a, a slight bit, so it is doing its thing, which is exactly what we wish for. Tighten the screw, don't over tighten, just tighten it enough. And now we can go plug this into the PC and we have a 256 fast drive. 
and we will do some testing on it. This is the model if you need it again. They have a cheaper one that uh, only works with SATA drives, but I wanted to buy this one because I had an NVMe. So yeah, there's that. Started to run a speed test and weirdly enough, uh, this isn't always flickering during this speed test. So probably it's only writing at times, I have no clue. But anyway, it's a blue LED. And these are the speed test results, not the highest of them all ever. But for USB transfer, yep, I like this. And I'm basically reusing a drive that would otherwise just sit on, in a drawer somewhere. So, happy. We'll continue to use it and report back to you. And as far as uh, big file transfer goes, it's steady above 200 uh, megs a second, 260 now for example, so really good speed, I like this. While the drive is idle, this thing uh, will slowly blink in and out all the time. And when I try to eject it, this is how it's being recognized, maybe it helps somebody out there. But what I want to mention, it got really, really hot during the transfers, but uh, kind of a good thing because all the heat is coming to the outside where it can be dissipated. So I've been using this drive for a while and honestly zero problems with it whatsoever. Stable, yes it does heat up, but again that's uh, kind of a good thing and uh, the SSD inside will contribute to the heat. Obviously, yes, the main chip will also heat up, but uh, I think the, the big culprit is the SSD. So depending on what you put in it, you will have more or less heat. But for me, yeah, it's manageable. So no is issues whatsoever. And yes, uh, I really like the fact that it's metal. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Ask in the comments uh, if you want uh, info about it over the years, but up until now, it's good. I like it. Good purchase and uh, thanks again, again, Alec Gear for building this thing. It's really hard to find such a small form factor. Everybody makes the huge ones. They don't really make sense uh, to me at least, but something like this, much better. So yeah, that's about it. See you in the next video.